Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 video on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you my club. Now, as you know, it's basically the end of FIFA 17 now, so I thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, go through all the players I have in my club. Now, getting into my club now, this video is actually recorded live, so I only have 41 players in my club, and the main reason is just because I sold a lot of, you know, my tradable players in order to do some of the new SBCs. So we're going to start with the bronze players, and we're going to go from low to high. So getting into the first bronze player in my club we have Ripley's foot champions monthly card so I've actually used this card for 22 matches you know actually you know overall it's a pretty decent goalkeeper for a bronze card um, then we have this guy Delev he has five star weak foot that's the only reason I tried him out and in two matches he actually managed to score me three goals well he's pretty decent then we just have a few players here um, this guy I might want to give a try out you know he looks pretty decent for a bronze centre back you know 80 physical 75 defending and 63 play um, pace you know maybe if you put a shadow card on him it'd be a pretty nice centre back to um, link up with Ripley so now moving on into the silvers just like the bronze players I don't really have too many silver cards in my club so we have Bamba there from the league and we have Al Yunusi the five star skiller and I've only actually used him for 16 matches and I got two goals and two assists and you know as a skiller I don't really care about records that much you know I more care about scoring good goals so the next player we do have is DeAndre Yedlin and I don't actually think I've used this card too much this FIFA yeah I only played 10 matches with him um, pretty you know just pacey right back decent physical not the best defending you know it reminds me a lot of Carl Walker then of course we next player we do have is the legend himself David Myler then we have this guy and I think the only reason I've gotten him a club is just because he gets a strong link to Riccardi the five star skiller the next player we do have here is Wita. now I've actually played him in quite a few matches 92 matches and he's actually scored me seven goals and got me two assists just because I think he has um, pretty high volleys I think he has 80 volleys in game what's pretty crazy for a centre back then we have this guy, Bushigli. Um, I played him for a few matches this FIFA. Not very keen on his card. You know, 22 matches, only three assists, so not the best return there. Then we have Keo's um, Irish card there. And then we have that um, German goalkeeper from the Bundesliga. So now moving on into the gold players. We start off with Alex Hunter. Now, I'm not really sure why I actually completed the journey. You know, I've only used this card for one match. And after the first match, you know, I just wasn't impressed with it, so I haven't used it since. The next play we have there is Ibarbo. Then we have Maxim, the five-star skiller. Then we have one to watch Renato Sanchez. Now, I'm actually, you know, at the start of this year, um, I did the one to watch SBC and I got this card. And, you know, I was pretty happy because I was expecting him to get a few informs as FIFA. But sadly, you know, after the Euros, he didn't really live up to his hype. But, you know, hopefully next year he can improve. So the next player we do have is Doombia, and I'm not even sure if I've actually used this card. I've actually used it for one match, uh, you know, just a really pacey player with the four-star skill moves. The next player we do have there is McCarthy, and I have this guy in my club just because he links up with Inform Balassi, as you'll see later on in the club tour. The next player we there have is Tim Howard. Then we have SBC Kazawa, and I've actually used this guy quite a lot this year, especially in foot champions, and just because he does give a hyperlink to Hatem Banaf of the five-star skiller. So yeah, 529 matches, four goals, and 16 assists. So the next player we do have is probably my favourite centre mid slash CDM this year, and that is Fernandinho. You know, just looking at his stats there, they are just all well-rounded, you know, really good player. Then moving on into the next player, we have Mo Salah, and I actually packed this guy in the Foot Champions Club um, pack yesterday. I was actually pretty disappointed, you know, when I first got him, just because I thought I was going to get, you know, a high-rated inform card of his you know, a high rated inform card because I'm pretty sure he has like an 86 or 87 rated card. But he has some decent stats to be honest. You know, 93 pace, 89 dribbling, 70 physical, 76 shooting, and 76 passing. So I might give this guy a bit of a try. Um, so the next play we do have is one to watch Kante. Now, I was actually very happy when I got this card. Actually, the first time I completed the one to watch guaranteed SBC, this was the card I got. Then I got like really addicted to it. I spent like a million coins on that SBC, um, you know, because I really wanted to get that one to watch Pogba card, but sadly I didn't get it. But I got this Kante card. And again, just like Kazawa, I've used him a lot in um, foot champs this year, and he's one of the best centre mids on the game, probably just behind Fernandinho, in my opinion. The next player we do have is Di Rossi. Now, the main reason I completed this SBC was just because he got a link to SBC Al Shirari. Um, then after that we have Gabriel Jesus and I recently reviewed this guy, you know, really good player, really good for scaling with and just, you know, a really pacey player. The next player we have is SBC Miranda. Now this guy actually has the most appearances for me out of any player in my club. 
Um, I did his SBC on the 25th of December and since then he's played 673 matches. He's only scored one goal, but that one goal that he did actually score from the club was the winning goal. So I think it was win Division 3 title. So yeah, that's um, a pretty memorable moment. The next player, um, sorry, the next stat as you can see there, he's only got um, four assists in 673 matches. So not the best return there for Miranda, but he's actually a very, very good sense back. So the next player, again, just... Um, I got this guy from doing the one to watch guaranteed SBC and he's actually Mane, um, very pacey, very strong player, even though he says he's got 87 shooting, it doesn't really feel that good um, in game in my opinion, I think maybe because his finishing is fairly low, then moving on to one of my favourite non five star skillers of the year we have SBC Lacazette so in 166 matches from the striker position he's managed to score me 111 goals and get me 31 assists and that's you know honestly an incredible return um really really good at finishing really good on both feet as you know we got that um upgrade from uh, three star weak foot to four star weak foot you know that so that was really helpful in um, upgrading this card and then the next player we do have is SBC Di um, Diabala so I recently reviewed this guy I think it was actually my last video I did and the support on that video has actually been really good I think in 24 hours it's got already got you know 300 views and um, quite a few likes so yeah thanks for all the support on that video guys and as I just said in the review if you haven't watched it already you know overall it is a really good strike you know he's got really good finishing insane dribbling but the only thing that really lets him down is his three star weak foot you know it's not the best um, so that's just you know one thing you need to look out for when using this card but if you actually haven't done the SBC yet I would still recommend doing it now moving on into the next player we have premium SBC Al Sharari now this guy is one of my favorite cards if not my favorite card of FIFA 17 you know look at the stats so as you can see he's got 92 pace 93 dribbling 88 shooting 84 passing 75 physical and of course the five star skill moves so him and De Rossi you know are a really good link to have in FIFA 17 moving on into the next player we have SBC Abamyang. now the main reason I completed this SBC was just because I wanted to try him out in foot champions you know because he's a really pacey player with really good finishing he's really tall and has good physical and I was very impressed with him actually I think he managed to score me 10 goals in 10 matches and get me one assist so a really nice return there from Abamyang. then the next player we do have is probably my favorite non um in um sorry non five star skiller this FIFA and that is Young Min Son aka Sonaldo so in a 215 matches he managed to score me 123 goals and get me 32 assists he's six foot tall and he's actually got better stats than Ronaldo's normal card and as well as that he has the five star weak foot what is so helpful to have this FIFA now moving on into the final page of my club we have this team of the season Marquinhos card now in order to get this card you had to win the daily knockout tournament and you know overall it's probably my favorite centre-back card of this FIFA then we have Asayedi there you know a really cheap skiller and really really good we have Matthias Fernandez there I haven't really used him much um, I think this card is actually first owner yeah it's first owner um, I sold this card on before then I managed to back this card a few days ago so yeah he's an alright skiller this FIFA I mainly used him you know at the start of FIFA when I didn't really have too many coins then the next player we do have is Gabriel Agbombahor and the only reason I have this guy in the club is just because I'm a Villa fan and I remember using this card and then in I think it was FIFA 15 or sorry not FIFA 15 FIFA 13 or FIFA 12 and this card was honestly incredible and it's still you know really good this FIFA um, moving on into the next player we have in for Magidi. now the main reason I just have this card is just because he's you know a five star skiller and he's a special card and he's actually a pretty good skiller I scored one of my best skill goals this year with this card and then moving on to probably my favorite five star skiller along with SVC Al Shirai is in for Balassi now I'm pretty disappointed you know this guy didn't get any more informs or special cards of this FIFA just because he got injured very early on in the season but this card is honestly incredible you know it feels so good for scaling with and you know that's why I think he is one of my favourite skillers if not my favourite skiller this FIFA and then the final play we do have in the club is Man of the Match Thiago and the reason I don't actually have his team this season card is just because I can't afford it and I went with the 88 rated man of the match card over his 90 rated card even though if I sold a few players and a few consumables in my club I probably could have got that card just because I really like the way the man of the match cards look so guys this has been my club tour if you have enjoyed it I'd really appreciate it you could smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching and